Rob and Liz in the morning with cheese, yeah. single cli- sliced cheese that has very different types of tastes, and not because of the type of cheese it is. It's the taste. Like one of them is jalapeno. Mm, ugh. Yeah. Another one, caramelized onion. I am all about the caramelized onion. What? Why do you want a caramel pizza? Ew. I mean, not pizza, cheese. A slice of cheese. (laughs) I'm thinking pizza because of cheese. So a caramelized onion is basically you saute the onions, just a little dash of salt, and it brings a natural sweetness to the onion. And so mixing that with cheese, yes. I'm pretty sure Scott wants that that type of cheese, too. I love caramelized onion. I'm thinking like amped up grilled cheese right now. Uh, or Maybe cheese. a little jalapeno, yeah. a little caramelized onion. Kind of take both flavors. They have combined. garlic and herb as that, well. That sounds good. I would take two yeah. of the three. You can have the jalapeno. So these are the single sliced cheese. I think that's the types that you that you take out of the cellophane. Yes. You yes. know where you. <laughs> yeah, and you like like Scott said, you put it on a grilled cheese, or I would put it on cheese toast. But the way I eat cheese toast, you put grape jelly on top of it. I would not do that on these flavored ones because that would what, be wait, gross. What? You put jelly on grilled cheese sandwiches? No, not on grilled cheese, on cheese toast. So I guess it's basically about the same. But you, you broil the cheese, and then you put the gr- the grape jelly on top of it. Yes. Okay. Why are there stunned faces? <laughs> well, because. That sounds like a grilled cheese just without the other piece of bread. And you're still putting grape jelly on it. My daddy taught me that. And it's really? Good. Yeah. Do you slather <laughs> peanut butter over your eggs? No ketchup. Jonathan sent me one of those, you know, puke emojis. Yeah. <laughs> he said for the grape jelly on the grilled cheese, so I don't think he's going to try puke that. Puke emoji. Way to go, Jonathan. <laughs> I know. But, but I will say Eve said, look, I am with you, Liz. My grandmother taught me how to make a grilled cheese with jelly. So mm. thank you for texting that. Really? Thank you, Eve. I mean, I don't think Scott has even heard of this. No, no, I've put grape jelly in the crock pot, you know, with the little smoky yeah, sausages. Yeah, cocktail wieners, yeah. But I've never thought about putting it on a grilled cheese. Grilled cheese I'm sandwich. Intrigued. Yeah. Oh, so Scott's going to try it. You know, I might you try this. My daddy started me on it. <laughs> so Ken is here at 800 447 7234. Hey there, Ken. I have to agree with Liz on eating ketchup on her eggs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I've, I've heard that. The thing that is foreign to me. Is this grape jelly on grilled cheese? Yeah, that's kind. That's kind of weird. <laughs> but uh, and I just wanted to say that I believe that God is going to abundantly bless you two on the radio and abundantly bless your lives for what you do. Oh, that's sweet. Thank you oh, so much. And I really enjoy your radio show. Thank uh, you. We moved down here from Iowa about a year ago, and we love it down here in the south because our friends up north have 20 inches of snow, and we don't miss that at all. <laughs> it's kind of a heat wave for you today, isn't it, Ken? Oh, yes. <laughs> well, thank you so much, and we we appreciate you very much, and welcome to the South. Thank you very much, and God bless you guys. I love your show. Rob and Liz, his morning crew. Technology blows my mind sometimes. I'll, I'll tell you what Liz is referring to. There is now some new technology that you can use your, and I'm talking about your phone here, that you can use your, are you ready for this? Not your hands, not your feet. Not your nose, not your elbow, and not your ear. One thing's left, and that is your tongue. To scroll on your device. Sounds disgusting when you think about it. I mean, I wouldn't want to be in the bathroom with my phone and licking my phone to move the scroll. No, hopefully it doesn't work like that. There are times your hands are full and you're like, I can't do it. I can't. And you, I try my nose sometimes to move it. Oh, right. (laughs) And that will will work. it, It doesn't. Not for me. It doesn't recognize my nose. It's too greasy. (laughs) So here's the thing. I thought, okay, that's really disgusting because your phone is in in your hands and your hands are everywhere. You're not constantly washing your hands before you touch your phone. I'm like, ew. But no, there's a specific for those who cannot utilize their limbs, their hands, to actually use one of these devices. And it's a mouth 
pad, like a mouse pad, mm -hmm. but a mouth pad. And they literally can use their tongue like when they're in that uh, wheelchair or whatever and use their tongue to move around on their phone. And it, it kind of looks like, what is it that you put, like, if you have braces? What's the little guard thing that you put in your mouth? The little guard thing. No, what's it called? Retainer. Thank you, retainer. Jake you, said Jake. retainer, yeah. <laughs> so it looks like a retainer almost because it's not just, you know, a little tiny thing that you scroll on. It actually connects to, looks like, the roof of your mouth. That's great. Is it great you've heard, you've used it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, all the time. I use my tongue on my phone. <laughs> Rob and Liz, his morning crew. It is Rob and Liz in the morning. His radio makes me just, just a little bit concerned or nervous. What's that? That that last year was the best aviation year ever. Oh, I read something. I think I know what you're talking about. There have been no, there were no plane crashes last year. No, no Period. major ones. Yeah. Yeah. There are just no, yeah, I guess major plane crashes, yeah. like jets, yes, you know, commercial right, flights. Right. What good news to hear. Very good news, but if I have a flight coming up in a couple of weeks. Well, you, why, okay. You sound I nervous. Know. I like the odds are not in my favor. Oh, come on. If it was great in 2023, it'd be awesome in 2024. It, it does make me rest on the fact that. You know, all of our, our airlines seem to be doing a pretty good job. Yeah. And, and that's, you know, why it was so safe hey, last year. you've been safe in your car so far. Yeah. Right? No yeah. accidents. No. You've been on second floors of different buildings, right? The second floor? What does that have to do with anything? Well, I'm talking <laughs> about faith. You know, you believe oh, yes, that the yes, second yes, floor yes. is not going to collapse on you well, in a true. building, right? True. true. You have two floors in your house. Your house hasn't fallen down. Well... Right? That golden doodle is eating it to, to pieces, so who knows? <laughs> Rob and Liz, his morning crew. Jay is on the line. What's going on, Jay? Sorry, it sounds like I'm in an echo chamber, but um, I lost my father about five years ago to um, lung cancer with a mesothelioma, and we used to listen to Hillsong United. And, um, you know, our Savior said two things, you know, he loves prodigals. And those three that are good Samaritans. Because I lost my way after I lost my father. And I know I found my way, my, my way back home to my Savior. Grace still wins every time. Our Savior always wins. Yeah, he does, doesn't he? Ken, we love you. I know that you're traveling through a journey right now. And we're going to play this in honor of you and your dad. It's United just for you, Jay, on his radio. Rob and Liz, his morning crew. When I was a kid... Curious George was the thing. For my kids, it was Grover, and there's a monster at the end of this book. They just read them over and over and over. It's great when you read the kids. I and, loved it when they were growing up. Absolutely. But it gets a little monotonous because they want the same book over and over and over. Like, how many times do we need to find the monster at the end of this book? I can't remember what the book was, but it was really thick, and it had, like, multiple stories in it. And so what I would do was would distract and, like, look at the wall. They look at the wall, and I would skip some pages and then make up the story as I went to make it go by faster. <laughs> and I do like that. I used to make up part of the fairy tales as well and sort of try to bring them into the story a little bit when I was feeling super creative. But when I was exhausted, maybe Rob did this as well, you just sort of skip the page. I did. <laughs> My mom, when she read to me, it was, you know, once upon a time, they lived happily ever after. <laughs> and I was like, Amen. Right? Like, what? What happened? So what we're finding out is that uh, here's the reason kids want to hear the same story over and over and over is they're honestly learning. They don't know they're learning, but the repetitiveness of it um, just kind of fortifies those words and, and they learn not only the story, but they're learning more about vocabulary. Oh, I can see that. That makes a lot of sense. It makes a lot of sense. So even though it's monotonous for us as parents, oh my goodness, I got to read this Curious George again. I can almost hear my dad saying that. Uh, it, it's beneficial. Not only to for them to learn, but for us. Rob and Liz, his morning crew. We're hearing from Melissa this morning at 800-447-7234. Hi, Melissa. Well, I just wanted to tell y'all thank you. Y'all prayed for our son um, for his Air Force Academy application and everything. And he got a, lo a nomination letter from one of our congressmen. But if y'all would just pray, he's got his physical fitness test today. What's his first name? Daniel. I have a feeling there is a huge His Radio family praying for him right now. 
please call us back and update us on how he did. Absolutely. Thank you. Oh, you're so welcome. Thank you for calling and saying that. We certainly needed to hear from you today. Rob and Liz. His morning crew. I know. It's the dilemma. You've got the cold weekend coming up. I mean, it's cold this morning, but not like the past couple of days. This is like a heat wave compared to the past couple of days. But then it's going to snap right back down into the teens early tomorrow morning. So it makes you think, how in the world are we going to keep the kids active? We have to babysit three babies you tomorrow. You do? Yes. Oh, so, no. Th- not we have to. That sounds terrible, but <laughs> we get to. But at the same time, I, we can't take them out in the stroller. We can't take them to the park to play. Not how, in the teens like it is. Like, yeah. How do you How do you wear them out? Even the dogs, like when it's raining or super cold. Like normally we can let them run a little bit. And they've been trapped in the house and all the extra energy. So, yeah, mm-hmm, I don't know right. how to wear these kids out more. Well, night. Scott usually has great ideas because he's such that kind of dad that gets his kids <laughs> incredibly active. Like, they're in the pool today. Yeah, they are. When they were little, we were like, how do we wear them out? So we would have a little dance party in the house yes. and crank up Toby Mac videos, you know, and just jam out. And they would be bouncing off the walls, dancing, jumping on the couches. And then after a while, you know, they get a little tired. And they'd want to sit, and then we'd just watch a movie and let them chill. So that's how we handled some of those just cold days inside. For a little bit of clarity, Scott, you joined the dancing? <laughs> Not really. Okay. We need Every video. once in a while, maybe. You we've, know, we've, but, uh... we've witnessed when you thought you were alone, when you kind of do Uh-oh. the jig to the right? stuff. And, you know. The overbite is amazing. Yeah, mm-hmm. The the little uh, sprinkler thing you do? <laughs> Oh, it's yeah. quite wow, yeah. <laughs> and you don't know this, but on what TikTok, is, what, on TikTok, you have two million views. He's blown up. Yes. Wow. Well, I don't really like to talk about it that much, but I did have the floss <laughs> down for a while. The floss. So. Oh no. no! 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 I don't need that visual in my head. No! No! Robin Liz, his morning crew. Rusty is checking in with us this morning at 800-447-7234. Hey, Rusty. Hey, I was just calling about the wasabi thing and the sushi and all that. That's one way you can tell when you've got really fresh sushi is how much wasabi they put under it. Because the more they put under it, they're trying to hide the flavor of the fish. Oh, okay. I did not know that. And you were talking about sashimi earlier. Sashimi is actually just a thin sliver of raw fish, not on rice, just by itself. Oh, okay. And then there's a, what you were talking about, the nigiri style, where they put it on top of rice, and then the roll style is called maki. Wait a minute, how do you know so much about sushi? I used to work for a Japanese company, and I traveled to Japan many times. It became a staple, and that's where I learned how to eat it, learned a lot about it, more than I care to know, really. (laughs) Rob and Liz, his morning crew. Today is an I Believe Friday. Love it. Woo! I believe Friday, here's how it works. It's with you going to the My His Radio app, tapping on the open mic, and then when you tap on record, start your sentence with, I believe. We'll get started here. Ninja, I believe. No more sickness. Oh. <laughs> Poor thing. You can hear the stuffiness. No more sickness. Oh, I'm so sorry. Poor baby. Jake, I believe. I believe. This weekend, we're going to have a fun time celebrating my birthday. Oh, happy birthday. birthday. 22. Uh, about <laughs> 19. Far. 19. There you go. He's, he's still going backwards. Yeah, there you go. Scott, I believe. I believe all the swimmers on my kids' swim team are going to rock it today in a swim meet, and my two favorite swimmers are going to do wonderful, being my daughter and son. Woo! I believe they're going to be warm. I hope it's yes. inside. <laughs> They'll be swimming inside. So nice warm. warm pool. <laughs> Ooh, Liz, I believe. I believe my husband and I are going to survive taking care of three babies under three oh. tomorrow night. Pray. I pray believe hard. they are going to be tired. Yadira said, I believe God is doing a work in me. All right. Yeah, Yadira. Yadira I love your name, Yadira. I do. It's so love fun to say. Name. Here are the open mics on an I Believe Friday. I believe today is going to be a really good day, and God has a plan set for everyone, and all we have to do is just follow that plan, and I believe in Him, and I trust Him. Hi, I'm Levi, and I believe 
that I'm going to have a great day at school. Today is We Believe Friday, and we believe that we are going to have a fun weekend with our friends for our birthdays. I believe it's going to be a great weekend with my grandbabies. I believe Myrtle Beach is calling my name this weekend. I believe his radio is the best radio ever. I believe that I will have a fantastic day at work with my kiddos. I will have a fantastic weekend praising the Lord and just relaxing and getting some house done. I believe that some of our goats are going to have some babies this weekend. Woohoo! I believe that God will bless us with a wonderful inventory, that there will be no hiccups, everyone will come with happy smiles and ready to work, and that we will be out of here on time and not have to show up here tomorrow. Amen. I believe I'm going to do a great job on my science and math test today. I believe that after I take my child to school, I'm going home and going back to bed. I believe that this weekend I'm going to start painting my bedroom. I believe I will have a wonderful 50th birthday party tomorrow. Happy birthday Woo! on an I Believe Friday. I love it. Hi, this is Trey, and I believe all the children in my class will be wonderful today. I believe that God will heal my mom from her heart surgery and her sarcoma and that she she will receive good news in her doctor's appointments today. I believe God's going to give me peace and wisdom for an upcoming class next week. I believe that our anatomy ultrasound screening today on our first child, which is a rainbow blessing, will show a good and healthy baby. Oh, how exciting. Congratulations. Yes, we're we so happy for you. We'll be Mima and Papa. Um, oh, I'll she be... doesn't want to be me, Ma. Sorry. <laughs> I'll be better. I'm better. How about Thank aunt you. and uncle, the there young you versions of them? Ooh. I believe Friday. Open up the My His Radio app. Tap on the open mic. Start your sentence with I believe. And if you don't have the app, download it full free. Google Play in the App Store.